Target 2.2. By 2030, end all forms of malnutrition, including achieving by 2025 the internationally agreed targets on stunting and wasting in children under five years of age and address the nutritional needs of adolescent girls, pregnant and lactating women and older persons. The indicators for this indicator 2.2.1 prevalence of stunting, height uh, for age of less than or equal to two standard deviations from the median of the World Health Organization child growth standards among children under five years of age. So the current efforts uh, need to be more than doubled if the 2030 goal of, for, stunting, uh, for the stunting target is to be achieved. Stunting has been declining steadily over the last decade with 148.1 million or 22.3% of children under five worldwide suffering from stunting in 2022. This represents a 17% reduction compared to the 177.9 million stunted children under the age of five in 2012. The number of countries with a very high stunting prevalence, i.e. greater than or equal to 30%, has decreased by two-fifths over the last decade from 47 countries in 2012 to 28 countries in 2022. However, faster progress is needed to achieve the 2030 target of a 50% reduction in the number of stunted children. To achieve this target, global efforts must more than double the annual rate of decline from the current value of 1.65% to 3.64% per year. Those numbers are shocking if you uh, think about number of millions of children who are uh, affected by uh, reduced growth because of malnutrition. Although stunting is declining in almost every region, no region is currently on track to achieve the 2030 target and progress, uh, and progress varies considerably among them. While not on track to meet the target, if current trends continue, North American, Northern American and Europe and Australia and New Zealand are the only regions that will be very close to the target of prevalence of less than 3% in 2030. All other regions are projected to have prevalence of over 10%. There's a number of uh, graphs there which illustrate the uh, statistics. Indicator 2.2.2, prevalence of malnutrition weight for height greater than or less than two standard deviations of from the median WHO growth standards among children under five by type, wasting and overweight. Starts out here with a, key, uh, a stark statistic, 45 million children under the age of five are wasted globally. Meanwhile, the current levels of overweight have stagnated over the last two decades. Wasting provoked by nutrition, nutrient poor diets, scarcity and disease, causes children to become thin, have weakened immunity, at risk of developmental delays, and face an increased risk of death in the, in the immediate term. Children with wasting are vulnerable to crises that impact livelihoods and food security. In 2022, 6.8% or 45 million children under five were affected by wasting. The current global prevalence demands urgent actions. This is most critical for wasted children as they are exposed to life-threatening stresses in the wake of the COVID-19 food prices and international crises. While data collection on nutrition has been delayed due to several measures put in place during the COVID-19 pandemic, the available estimate for 2022 showed two regions were disproportionately affected by wasting. In 2022, over half of all the wasted children uh, lived in Central and South East, Southern Asia, and almost one quarter of wasted children lived in Sub-Saharan Africa. So it's interesting now to, to look at the other side of the, the, the issue, uh, overweight children. So childhood overweight is a condition found to in, uh, increase the risk of diet-related non-communicable diseases later in life, has been prompted by industry marketing and greater access to processed foods, along with the inadequate levels of physical activity. Globally, overweight prevalence has stagnated from 5.5 in 2012 to 5.6 in 2022. 37 million children under five were affected by overweight in 2022. 37 million. More progress is necessary to achieve the 3% global target for 2030. At the regional and country level, in many areas, overweight prevalence is on the rise. Four out of eight SDG regions have an increasing overweight trend from 2012 to 2022. The three with the lowest annual average rate of reduction are Australia and New Zealand, Oceania excluding Australia and New Zealand, and Eastern and Southern East Asia. Only one region, Central Asia and Southern Asia, is on track to achieve the global target. 
The regions of Sub-Saharan Africa, Western Asia and North Africa and North America and Europe are off track with some progress. Prevention of all forms of malnutrition, including wasting and overweight, is achieved through ensuring adequate maternal nutrition before and during pregnancy and lactation. Optimal breastfeeding in the first two years of life, nutritious, diverse and safe foods in early childhood and a healthy environment, including access to basic health, water, hygiene and sanitation services and opportunities for safe physical activity. All these necessary inputs for good nutrition are vulnerable from the changes wrought by conflict, climate change and the lingering effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Indicator 2.2.3 The prevalence of anemia in women aged 15 to 49 years by pregnancy status. Efforts to tackle anemia should be reinforced in all sectors. In 2019, almost one third of women aged 15 to 19 in the world had anemia meaning that most of those women were experiencing fatigue and impaired physical capacity in their daily life. Anemia is also associated with increased risk of mortality and morbidity in mothers and babies, including miscarriages, stillbirths, prematurity and low birth weight. Anemia can also be a risk factor for poor outcomes following COVID-19. There has been little progress in reducing the global prevalence of anemia during the last 20 years. In 2000, the prevalence of anemia in women aged 15 to 19 was 31.2%, and almost 20 years later, it has remained virtually unchanged at 32.8%. Despite global efforts, a better understanding of the local causes of anemia is needed to provide context-specific solutions. Preventing anemia should be a global priority due to its interlinkages with other nutrition, health and economic outcomes. By preventing anemia in women, countries are also contributing to other global nutrition targets endorsed by the World Health Assembly in 2012, namely low birth weight and childhood stunting and wasting. Investments in anemia reduction efforts should be intensified to, to promote a national development and to support the health and well-being of the population.